Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Matt, and we're gonna go over this week's Fast and Furious Fat Furnace workout for you. So for this workout, we're gonna have two groups of five exercises. You're gonna do each exercise for 15 seconds as hard as you can. You'll have 15 seconds to switch between exercises. We're gonna go through the five exercises five times, and we'll switch to the second group of five exercises, which we will also do for five rounds. You ready, Matt? Ready? Okay, so exercise number one, we're gonna start with our ball slam burpee. So reach high overhead, kick those feet back into that burpee, slam those feet outside your hands, and then back into that slam here. So each time as hard as you can, slam that ball. You can also do your step back burpees here, so just one leg at a time. You can also just go with that traditional ball slam, reaching high overhead, and then slamming it down. From there, we're gonna go into our mountain climbers. So, you get onto the blue floor, get your feet on those sliders here, push up plank position. You're gonna drive those knees up. Notice how Matt gets a full extension on that back leg here. So he's reaching up, he's driving his knee up with one leg and reaching back with that other leg. Now, if you want, you can also do this without the sliders here. You can touch those toes down. As you're getting tired, you can also just focus on holding that plank for that 15 seconds. From there, we're gonna go into our suspension trainer rows. So, Leaning straight back here, we're in that moving plank position, toes pulled up, glutes squeezed tight, deep breath in as you go down, push that air as you squeeze those shoulder blades, pulling your chest up towards your hands. Now to make this a little bit heavier, just step a little further in. To make this lighter, you either put one foot back or step both feet back on this one. From there, we're gonna go into our plank jack. So push up plank position. You're gonna kick those feet apart, bring them right back together as quickly as you can. Keeping those shoulders over the wrist. If you need to, you go one leg out at a time here, out and back, one leg at a time, or just, again, hold that plank for that 15 seconds. Our last exercise in this group is shadow boxing. So you're gonna grab a light set of dumbbells or no dumbbells at all, depending on how you're feeling here. And then you're just gonna reach and rotate here. Throw those hands as fast as you can. Notice how Matt's rotating through his torso here as he's throwing those hands. We wanna think about speed and light weights on this one. Okay, then after we do five rounds of those five, we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna start with our plank squat jump. So again, push up plank position here. We're gonna kick those feet outside your hands and right back into that plank position. As fast as you can, slam those heels to the floor. If you need to, you can also go one leg at a time here, bringing them both up and then both back, or again, just hold that plank for that 15 seconds. Our second exercise here is our power curl. So you're gonna grab a set of dumbbells. You're gonna start with those dumbbells at your side. You're gonna use your hips to get this out, to get everything going here. So you're gonna sit that butt back, then drive up through those heels, get those legs straight out. So we're using those legs to actually give us all that momentum to curl those dumbbells, catch them at your shoulders, and then swing them back, driving right back up into that power curl, one good rep at a time on that one as well. From there, we're gonna go into our TRX squat jump. So you'll step back, starting with your elbows at your ribs. You're gonna sit into that squat and explode up here. Just, yeah, there we go, Matt. Now, if you need to, you can also press into those heels, get as high as you can. If you want, you can also go without the suspension trainer and do regular squat jumps, those bodyweight squat jumps. If you want to, you can also modify to a traditional squat on the suspension trainer or just a body weight air squat to take that impact out. From there, we're gonna stay on the suspension trainer. We're turning right around. We're gonna go into our chest press. So knuckles turned down, moving plank position here, glutes squeeze tight, squeeze those shoulder blades, push that air out as you press yourself up. To make this heavier, you step further in. To make it a little bit lighter, you can either put one foot forward or you can step both feet forward here. Just make sure you're getting a full range of motion on that one. And then from there, our last exercise of the workout is our power step ups. So we'll bring our box over here and we're gonna explode up and over off that box here, getting as high as you can. One good rep at a time. Now notice how Matt's using those arms for momentum. If you need to, you take the impact out by just stepping side to side, one leg at a time. Okay, that's our Fast and Furious workout for this week. Good job, man.